Hi, in this video, I will take you through on how to integrate your on-premise Active Directory with your Azure Active Directory using the Azure AD Connect tool. So, integrating your on-premise Active uh, Directory with your Azure AD makes your users to be more productive and uh, also it also provides a common identity for uh, your users to access both cloud and on-premise resources. Right, to start off with, let me showcase to you what are the user accounts that I have. So I'm going to synchronize these user accounts, which is inside my Office 365 uh, users OU to my Azure AD, right? So first and foremost, I will have to download the Azure AD Connect tool. So I'm going to say search for it, download Azure uh, AD Connect. Right? So the first link. So here I can click on download and it will download the tool and I can see what are the system requirements to install this particular tool. When you click on this particular URL, it is going to take you to a detailed page on what is the uh, uh, details of uh, the prerequisite that is needed. And also some of the install instru instructions can be found in this link. Right. So I have already downloaded this tool and saved it on my desktop, which is here. I'm going to double click and start my installation click run and that is going to extract the package all right so the installation begins i'll have to read and uh, accept the license agreement I agree and here I have two options here. One is the use express settings or the customized settings. I'm gonna go ahead with customized settings. And here I have few options here. Um, use custom uh, installation location. That is if I do not want the installation to be on the default location, I can click this and change the default location. Uh, use an existing SQL server. If I have more than 100,000 Active Directory objects, then uh, I'll have to have an SQL server uh, to install uh, Azure AD Connect. If I have less than 100,000 uh, objects, then I can use the SQL Express Edition, which is part and parcel of this particular installation. So, you know, uh, the other uh, uh, service account requirement and sync group details are here, which I can select if I want to. I'm just going to go ahead and you can see that the SQL Server uh, Express uh, Edition has been installed here and the installation may take uh, a few seconds great the installation has finished so here I have the user sign-in uh, information uh, that I need to configure and the first option is the password uh, hash sync so basically with the password hash sync what happens is um, uh, this allows the users to sign into the cloud using the same password as as they have uh, uh, in their on premises right so basically the passwords which is in in uh, on premise will be synced to the cloud synced to azure ad uh, but only the hash will be saved there and, uh, so it is very secure and there is no clear text uh, uh, that is been sent uh, uh, or stored anywhere right so it is uh, quite secure or you could have the pass-through authentication where um, uh, passwords are not been sent it's just only a, a agent which will be installed on the uh, client machines which will synchronize and uh, which will allow the uh, authentication happen then you have the ADFS part comes in right and then the other configurations are there so I'm going to enable single sign-on as well and click next this is where uh, it requests me to enter my Azure AD uh, global administrator credentials so I'm gonna put in the credentials Fine. and then click next and it is going to verify uh, the credentials great that's done and now it is going to ask my on-premise active directory credentials here so uh, here this is my uh, active directory follows that I have I'm gonna click add directory and I am gonna Give my username a 
uh, it's a long password right so that's been added click next and it is going to retrieve my active directory schema so basically it will be the user principal name that i'm going to use it and i'm going to select this continue without matching all upn suffixes to verified domains I click next and i would want to synchronize not everything only the users inside this particular ou so i am going to select sync selected domains and ous expand that and check and check only this and click next so here it will say uniquely identifying your users so select how users should be identified in your on-premise directories users are represented only once across all directories yes and then i keep the default settings here and click next and i here i could select a particular uh, a group that needs to be synchronized or synchronized all users and devices in the particular OU that i selected and so I don't have an exchange on premise uh, deployment. These two options are grayed out. So I'm just going to go ahead with the password hash synchronization, which I enabled uh, initially and click next. And of course, the password write back is going to require additional licenses. So here it is going to ask for uh, the single sign on credentials. I'm going to go ahead and uh, Give my credentials yep, and the credentials have been taken. Click next. And then it's going to configure. Yep. And once you click install, we will do the following, and it's going to give the summary screen here. Right. I want to start synchronizing when the configuration is completed. Fine. And install. And then the configuration happens. Right, so my installation and the configuration is done. So I'm going to click on exit. Okay, now let's open up the M365 uh, portal and see if the users have been synchronized. I can go into the users and I'll be able to go into active users. And sometimes based on the number of objects, it may take a few minutes. So now it will be able to see that the users that I've had on premise uh, in my on premise AD are now being synchronized to my Azure AD. I can also go back, go to the Azure Active Directory and let me go ahead and sign in. And the users should be synchronized in my Azure Active Directory as well well and until that loads i can click on the start click on uh, the synchronization service here and that should give me uh, if there have been any errors and at what time did it synchronize and all sort of details right so i can see how many objects that are being added and the details and all of those right if there are any errors it should list here as well so let me go back to the Azure AD, click on users, and uh, that will show me the users that have been synchronized. Right. Thank you very much for uh, watching the video, and I will highly appreciate if you could uh, click on the like button below as well as subscribe for this particular channel. Thank you so much. Until our next video, stay safe.